to talk. Yes, uh, we're going to record this webinar so we can send you the recording uh, after. Uh, today we're going to talk with Breda, Avance, Fontis, Saxion, and HZ, all universities of applied sciences. And I'm going to introduce IC really quickly. Uh, we are an agency that uh, we are leading the a university counseling in Spain. We have been working for 26 years, helping students that want to study their degree in another country. Uh, we normally send around 300 students every year to countries like United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Denmark, Netherlands, uh, Australia, and New Zealand. Uh, below you can uh, have our phone number and also our, our email in case you want to get in contact. And now I'm going to let the universities uh, start speaking. All right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Shelley from University of Applied Science uh, of Vals in the Netherlands. I'm going to first share my screen with you with the presentation, and it might take a little bit of time. Yes, I hope everyone can see my screen. Um, if not, please uh, notify in the chat. Um, all right, great. So uh, welcome again, everyone. Um, we are a union. Union is actually a consortium, uh, consists of five universal applied sciences in the Netherlands. We're very happy that today with the IEC, who gave us this opportunity to uh, share more about study in the Netherlands and also uh, particularly study at the University of Applied Sciences. So without the further ado, I would like to first uh, briefly introduce who we are. Um, they are still hiding behind their uh, laptop, but you will see their face later. Um, um, Micah is from Buas, Breda University of Applied Sciences. Me, myself, is from Avance. We have Arthur uh, from Saxium, uh, Turdo from uh, HZ, and Chris from uh, Fontes. So it's the five of us. Um, so like already mentioned, so these are the five University of, uh, of Applied Sciences who are the members of Union, which is a consortium that we uh, join force uh, in different countries to promote a study in the Netherlands and study at the University of Applied Sciences in particular. So why would you study in the Netherlands? Um, first of all, um, if you are looking for uh, international experience, if you are looking for um, speaking English without having trouble uh, surviving or living somewhere and even making uh, a great career after your study, then the Netherlands is definitely the great destination for you because we do have a, a strong and big international community. Um, and secondly, if you think about uh, studying abroad, most of the time it's a quite a financial investment, um, especially if we're talking about the traditional English, English speaking countries like the US or the UK, uh, whereas in the Netherlands, it's quite um, a good uh, price quality ratio, which is excellent value for your money. And there are a wide range of English taught programs offered in the Netherlands and with the union, uh, the consortium, uh, the five of us, um, we actually covered quite a wide range of English taught program already, uh, crossing from business to technology to science, uh, you name it all. And um, the Netherlands is also known for a very happy and safe country, uh, which is very friendly for uh, students and young people to, to study and to live here, as that might be one of the concerns of yourself and your parents. Um, also, there's excellent career opportunities in the Netherlands upon your uh, graduation. We're going to elaborate a bit more on that in a later slide. And in the meanwhile, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to just uh, leave them in the chat or save it at the end um, when we're going to be able to answer all your questions. Um, so why would you study in the University of Applied Sciences? So our type of universities. Um, um, because in general, first of all, there are 36 University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands, uh, which holds a total of 4, uh, 450,000 student population. 
it's very uh, practical approach. So practical application of knowledge uh, prepare students to, to, um, uh, for specific professions and also applied research. Um, we often combine theoretical knowledge with real life cases. Students interact with professional uh, experts during um, guest lectures or company visits and study materials uh, normally based on real life cases. Uh, we have a very strong commitment uh, of the professional field. Not only are the teachers and lecturers are working professionals and experts in their field, also are the curricula developed and assessment by professionals. Um, the size of classes normally is a relatively small, uh, maximum 30 students, which enrich the class interaction and dynamics. Um, take advance uh, the institution where I am representing. Uh, our students have on average 20 to 25 uh, contact hours each week. The teachers and lecturers often know the students by names, so we're very proud of this personal approach and personal attention. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, pass the microphone or pass the floor to my colleague from Breda University of Applied Sciences. So Micah, the floor is yours. Yes, thank you, Shen. Uh, Shen, it would be great if you can uh, uh, do the slides for me uh, whenever uh, that's the case, because I cannot do that myself. Hey all, uh, well, um, welcome. Uh, yeah, as Shen already told you, my name is uh, Maika. I work at Breda University of uh, Applied Sciences, and I'm going to give you um, a bit of more information today about our institute. We also call it BUAS. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why it's maybe a good idea to uh, study at BUAS and uh, um, an overview of all our study programs. And uh, at the end, a little bit more about uh, where we are located and uh, so the city of Breda. Uh, first of all, uh, who are we? Um, we are um, a medium sized uh, government funded uh, institute uh, with around 7,000 uh, Dutch and international students. Um, they're coming, students are coming from uh, over 100 different countries, or so we're quite international. Um, and we're known for our informal uh, character um, because we're quite small scaled. Um, lecturers know you well by name. Um, and uh, yeah, as, as Shen already told you, um, this is, it, it, it's, it's, well, it's, it's a small university of applied sciences are, are uh, a way of working quite, quite personal. We quite work quite close with, with our uh, students. Um, what are we uh, also, what also important is at our university is um, that we offer the courses at our uh, uh, new and green campus. So we're located in Breda and we uh, just um, started with all our um, programs at our uh, new campus uh, in Breda. Um, so first we had a few different locations, but now we have it all together in a, uh, a green, uh, on a green campus. So really a, a, a inspiring location to, uh, to study at. Yeah, you heard it already uh, in the, the previous slides that we are a University of Applied Sciences, so that means that you're getting a lot of practical work experiences. Um, at BUAS, we cooperate with a lot of businesses at the top of their field. So, for example, um, KLM, Samsung, Disney, Google, it depends a bit on the, the program of your, uh, of your choice, a Hilton, for example, within our hotel school. So a lot of like big names in uh, in uh, the field, um, and that means that you know you can do uh, work placements there. You get guest lecturers from those companies. So really, already that practical um, practical uh, experience that you are uh, maybe looking for. We also do stimulate students to start their own businesses when they are, even when they are already uh, when they are still studying with us. Uh, we do have our own innovation square where we coach students and help students to set up uh, their own businesses uh, during their study. So that's also a thing that uh, that um, is is one of our um, unique selling points. Um, yeah, where, where we're also proud of is, um, is that we are recently a part of the international QS World University ranking. So uh, most of the times, University of Applied Science is quite hard to get into rankings. It's more uh, a thing for research universities. 
but actually, uh, well, every year there's a top 50 of best universities around the globe. And in the recently published one, um, we are ranked at number uh, 23 in the category of hospitality and leisure management. So this includes all our hotel or our hotel management course and all our tourism and uh, leisure uh, courses. And so we're quite uh, uh, proud of that. Um, yes, yeah, Shen, if you want to go to the next slide. Here you can see all our um, the over total overview of all the programs that we offer. Um, so these are programs all around the Pacific subject. So we do offer bachelor, both bachelor, pre-master and master programs in uh, different fields, uh, the fields of built environment, facility, games, hotel, leisure and event, uh, logistics, media, tourism, and a brand new program in artificial intelligence. Um, we have different programs in, in all of those fields. So as I mentioned, bachelor and master programs. Um, so our bachelor programs, they, they are, for all these programs are taught in English and a bachelor programs take around three, three or four years and uh, the master programs around one year. Um, we do offer uh, webinars per program. So if you have a look on our website, you can, uh, you can uh, register for a, a webinar. Uh, they're also on demand, so you can also watch it in your own time, but uh, we have webinar, webinars uh, of all those uh, programs. So you can get a little bit more uh, informed about, uh, about them. Um, next slide, please. As I mentioned shortly, we are located in uh, the southern part of the Netherlands. So you see that small dot there, the orange dot. So it's the city of Breda. Um, yeah, I think it's 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 really not. You can also see the building on back of the uh, uh, the, the picture on the right is our building. So it's like really an old mon. It was an old uh, monastery, and it's uh, totally rebuilt. It, so totally new from the inside. Um, we are so we're located in in Breda. Um, I think location wise, it's a really centrally located in both the Netherlands and Europe. Um, so you know, if you if you're studying here, it's also easy to reach to reach out to Amsterdam, for example. You're there within an hour by train, but you can also go to uh, to, to Paris uh, on a four hour train uh, ride. So it's it's also nice uh, and a good spot to discover the rest of uh, of uh, Europe when you are studying uh, studying with us. Um, uh, to end with, I have a last slide to uh, tell you a little bit more about Breda. Uh, so it's a city uh, uh, with around 180,000 inhabitants, uh, a mid-sized city, so not that big, but a real student city with a historical city center, and uh, yeah, always uh, enough to do uh, enough to do for uh, for students, uh, especially uh, in uh, in spring and in summertime. Uh, I think it's a really uh, a really nice city to uh, to study in. Um, yeah, I think that's it for me from for my part. I think it's uh, it's good that if you are interested, you can always look at uh, at our website where we have a lot of a uh, lot of orientation possibilities there for you. A lot of webinars uh, about our institute and the program. So um, yeah, please let me know in chat if you have any questions, and uh, then I would now uh, give the the word to my colleague of uh, from this. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Chris, uh, and next to me is my um, uh, intern, um, and she will introduce herself. Hello, my name is uh, Rocio, and I'm actually a Ponte student, but I'm in third year, so now I'm doing my internship in, uh, in the paramedics uh, faculty. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our organization. Um, as you know, we're all applied science uh, um, uh, universities, and that, uh, the, that means that we have a lot in common, and there are certain different, different, um, uh, yeah, different things that we are uh, different in. So uh, we are one of the largest uh, universities in the Netherlands. Uh, we've got about 44,000 students. We got four and a half thousand people employed, and um, Although we are a big university, uh, as you can see in the building on the right, we uh, have our buildings uh, constructed uh, that 
for instance, uh, uh, although it's four floors maximum, that on one floor there is one program or one institute. So that means that we also work with small classes, with small uh, project groups uh, in our programs. So we have this personal touch with our students. So, uh, and this is, I think, one of the differences as well between allied uh, science and uh, research universities where uh, research and um, yeah, literature is, is more leading than uh, the applied uh, science uh, part. Um, we have several programs uh, uh, also in uh, English, in uh, Dutch, and of course, uh, in German. And I will explain about uh, German uh, a little bit later. Um, and what you see is in the four year bachelor programs that we have is that if you look to the uh, programs uh, in general, uh, there is about two years that you are having uh, projects from 10 weeks, uh, internships from 10 or 20 weeks or graduating uh, terms of 20 weeks that you are actually working with or in companies. Uh, and this is uh, a, a typical alliance uh, science uh, programming. And, and that's why I think one of the reasons is that uh, th that's so appealing to, uh, to our students. Um, student accommodation, um, we were not uh, providing uh, with the security that if you are coming and applying that you will have accommodation. But we are helping. But I think it's a fair, um, a fair point to say that uh, the Netherlands is a very small country, especially in the area where we are. And I will uh, tell you a little bit later. There's also a, a growing expat uh, community. Uh, so accommodation um, there is, uh, but it's sometimes a challenge to get. Um, Quality-wise, uh, well, as I just said, uh, quality is, in my opinion, um, of course, uh, the, the, the quality of the, the classes and the, the, the theory and the, and the lessons that you get, but also the quality of um, the work experiences that you get. Um, maybe, is there anything you want to add to this, uh, Rafia? Well, the, the welfare, I think for, I can speak from experience. Uh, Fontis they um, they actually put effort in their students welfare um, and there are also projects going on even if it's for um, yeah events or uh, also because of yeah covid we had to adapt to a new way of learning and that was very hard for most of us but yeah we we also had support and uh, and assistance so yeah i think that's a nice point to uh, to mention the the effort and the attention yeah. okay thank you uh, next slide please yeah here you see the uh, the 21 bachelor programs and if if you see in this list this goes from automotive even uh, we have a circus school uh, uh, we have uh, on high level dance and uh, music uh, bachelor uh, uh, and performance of arts uh, physiotherapy, where we are at now at the moment. Uh, so to give you an idea, I will turn around my laptop. We are at the, the, the paramedic faculty. So this is where I've been taught to become physiotherapist. Um, um, logistics, international finance, um, marketing, uh, medical imaging, radiation therapy, um, abroad programming uh, and also in masters uh, there's about uh, eight masters that you can do in in english next slide please yeah about the locations uh, uh, you see uh, uh, the buildings that we recently built i must say uh, uh, we have uh, three campuses where these um, English uh, stream uh, programs uh, are on. I will show you a little bit later the cities. Uh, and we invested uh, recently in, in totally new buildings. So for instance, we with the paramedic faculty were still in also in this new one, but also in an older building with the six uh, programs. But uh, 
we are building as we speak on this uh, new campus in Eindhoven, uh, three new buildings uh, with similar looks like uh, you have on the pictures here. Um, next slide, please. Because we are in the, in the south of Holland, uh, there is um, in a line in the south from Tilburg to Eindhoven to Venlo, we have uh, campuses. Uh, in Eindhoven, there is the, the, the biggest international campus. Eindhoven, as you may know, is the, the city of the company Philips. And due to that historical fact, uh, a lot of international um, high-tech companies came to, uh, uh, to be uh, a supplier for Philips. And now at this moment at the high-tech campus, we have all the Silicon Valley companies uh, um, having offices here in Eindhoven. So that means that in this 240,000 inhabitants, there's about 20, 25,000 expats. Uh, so this is a very vibrant and international um, uh, city with a lot of innovation and, and, and technology. And in this technology, um, we, uh, we also have, uh, for instance, ICT and engineering. We have a lot of companies in the area of Eindhoven uh, who, are, who want to work with our students. So in this two year uh, work experience, there's from day one, you will meet companies because uh, uh, you will have real life uh, projects to, uh, you know, to work on, on real life problems to solve for these companies. You start with project groups and during the two, three, four years you're in the program, you start working more alone and solving problems on your own. Um, Tilburg uh, is the second city where we have an uh, international stream and there that's mainly the creative center. And that means that uh, there is a lot of international students, uh, a growth of that because there's also more multinationals going to Tilburg because Eindhoven uh, is, um, well, it's not full, but it's, uh, the, the cities are like 30 kilometers away from each other. So that's only a 25 minute train ride if you go from the city center of Tilburg to Eindhoven, very easy. Uh, so the growth of the multinationals is, is in this area. And, um, yeah, as I said, the creative center. So we have the uh, conservatorium, the circus school, the creative uh, programs that are there. And uh, Tilburg and Eindhoven also have uh, both uh, research universities. So both are vibrant, uh, big university uh, cities. So there's a lot to do in sports, in leisure, in um, entertaining yourself and, and yeah, uh, good uh, social and study uh, environment. In Venlo, uh, this is near the German border, uh, uh, a little bit smaller, but very interesting if you're interested in logistics and agriculture, because there we have um, companies uh, near the, the German border. Our campus is literally, if I'm not mistaken, 100 steps away from the German border. Huh? So you, if you look from your uh, classroom, you're, you're looking into Germany. And there is um, a lot of things going on in the logistic uh, side of it. And we have programs with that as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you uh, for your uh, attention. And if there's any questions, or if uh, you can uh, look at the, uh, our international website, which is in the chat right now, and um, I give the, I pass the word to uh, uh, Jen. All right, um, thanks, Chris. Um, I like I already mentioned in the beginning um, during the introduction that I'm representing Avance University of Applied Sciences, which is also a relatively uh, large university of applied sciences in the Netherlands. Um, why to study at Avance? First of all, is the top education. Um, our students are highly satisfied with our course design uh, facilities, uh, personal attention that they received and interaction with the professional uh, fields that are part, uh, partially embedded in the whole education. Um, by doing so, um, we have been continuously um, ranked the number one position in the national ranking. 
which one we are proud of. Um, and then it's the excellent career opportunity, like I mentioned in the introduction as well, um, preparing our students for uh, specific professions. Uh, we, we, involved in, um, we involved the professional experience uh, to the classroom by using um, uh, uh, practical and up-to-date cases from their fields of expertise. Um, um, the lecturers bring this uh, work um, as part of the curriculum setting. Uh, the industry experts give guest lectures and uh, serve on the advisory boards to make sure that our study programs uh, remain cutting edge and uh, connect to the professional fields very closely. Uh, our students spend a significant part of their uh, bachelor degree programs in the work placement, um, um, like um, they have a complete uh, work placement uh, during second or the third year of their study, and then the graduation uh, internship is taking place for another half a year. Uh, before they graduate, and they normally do this in uh, different um, international uh, organizations or um, uh, uh, companies. Um, uh, according to the official resource, I uh, believe it's H uh, HBO, HBO Monitoring 2020, 92% of our students uh, who graduated within three months already found uh, a job, so found a uh, uh, employment, uh, which is uh, suitable for their level, and 77% are satisfied with uh, their study experience with us, including the study programs in general, the course design, the lectures um, who have been supporting them with their per uh, personal and professional developments, whereas the national average was 69%. And our graduates have an excellent uh, reputation and also often have a, hard, um, a head start in the world of uh, international business. Um, they work in highly qualified positions all over the world. And then is the personal approach. We focus on personal attention and support to our students um, inside and outside the classrooms. Uh, we're dedicated to help them to achieve their potential. The study programs are, are geared perfectly to the requirements of organizations and operated internationally in uh, different industries and professional fields. Um, our distinctive um, a teaching method is all about interaction, uh, teamwork. So the education model we use is a project-based learning and uh, uh, problem-based learning. The students share their experiences and uh, discoveries with their fellow students, and they join force as a team. So you uh, learn the team, uh, teamwork spirits while studying already. So the study in an international environment, um, allow, uh, which allow them to forge um, many international contacts. Um, the practical assignments they carry out for international uh, organizations I'll also help them uh, to develop skills um, that they need uh, for a management position uh, in an international uh, industry. And then is the sustainability. Um, we teach students in all fields of study um, what role sustainability will play in their future line of work. Um, Avance is the first University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands um, to offer only IHE certified full-time study program. And it also one of the institutions, um, uh, well, the leading parties of sustainable development goals, a charter for higher education. Uh, sustainability in, well, actually formed our vision research, uh, innovation, and our people. Last but not least is the practice-based research. Um, Avance is also uh, quite actively involved in uh, practice-based research. We have a six center of expertise and over 20 research groups. We drive innovation uh, in professional practice through our research projects. Um, our center of expertise for uh, bio-based economy, uh, for instance, one of the six um, center of expertise, they run a program that enables students to do a placement or graduation project um, at one of our partner universities in Brazil. Other students may be uh, involved in uh, research projects carried out by the center and affiliated companies working on topics such as uh, reuse of waste streams and uh, bio-based energy. Um, so here is a list of study programs we offer at Advanced uh, that are taught in English. So the bachelors consist of five uh, different uh, international pro programs cross fields from environmental sciences for sustainable energy and technology to finance and control, industrial engineering and management, 
international business. We have two programs offered at two different locations. Um, they are not a copy paste of one another. The international business program located in Breda is uh, with a fixed curriculum. So you just follow through uh, the four year uh, according to the program structure. Whereas the ones located in uh, Chicago Humboldt um, is more uh, flexible. It's really tailored to your needs. Um, if you know what you want already, um, I'm very determined for what you would like to do. And after your graduation, then this one is more suitable for you because you are co-creating the program together with the coach and the mentors. And then we also have um, um, two master programs. One is a one-year master of animation. Another one is a two years research master of um, a master uh, of fine arts and design, uh, which has uh, three different pathways, ecology futures, situated design, virtual arts and post contemporary practice. Uh, we are located um, uh, in four different city campus, Breda, Tilburg, Schermbos, and Rosendals. Um, it's all within the province of North Brabant. So um, like uh, basically where um, Font is two locations out of there are three and Breda University of Applied Science is also located in uh, this province. Uh, our international programs are mainly taught in the campus, uh, city campus of uh, Breda. Uh, we are neighbor of Ruas, and uh, one of the bachelor program, like I already mentioned, international business, also offered in the city of Schaerdehombos, and so as our master degree programs. So if you follow any of the programs, you don't have to commute between cities. You actually stay within one city campus. And like uh, Mike already mentioned about Breda, it's really a student city, vibrant. Uh, it's, you feel warm and welcome uh, when you are just probably take a walk or want to sit somewhere in, in a cafe or living and study here. And um, it's, it's a strong student community uh, formed in the city because it's like I already mentioned that it hosts several, uh, actually three University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands. It's a springboard for business with big dreams as well. There's a lot of support um, if you want to start your own business from the local government and uh, services. And Schert Homboss is um, the other city, um, city campus hosting the international business program and our master programs. Um, it, you also experience a welcoming atmosphere. It's a very uh, it's a nice historical cities um, for tourism or for leisure for uh, studying is definitely a nice city to uh, to stay and it also hosts uh, festivals for arts uh, or cultural related events then i'm gonna pass the floor on to my colleague from hz uh, tordo floor is yours hi yes thank you shen for that uh hola y bienvenidos a todos <laughs> uh, my name is Tudor Borchescu. i'm one of the international relations officers here at hz university of applied sciences and uh yeah uh without any further ado um so yeah first of all uh yeah can we go uh, forward shen please <laughs> Right, so why would you uh, choose to study at HZ University? Well, uh, as with uh, my previous colleagues as well from the other universities of applied sciences, we're also offering a high quality education. Um, all of our programs have consistently ranked top three in the past 10 years consecutively uh, in the Dutch uh, HBO uh, ranking. Um, one of the major things that we do offer as well is that guaranteed student housing for our international students uh, from your first year all the way to your third or fourth year, depending how long your program takes. So that's a huge thing because that's one less worry you have to have on your mind uh, when you may make, uh, make preparations for that international move. Um, as with most universities of applied sciences, we also have a plethora of partner companies and we also place great emphasis on you being uh, tomorrow's professionals in all of the fields that we offer and I will go into the programs uh, in a bit as well. Um, but from the very first year, we already give you that uh, work on hands-on experience for certain programs like our industrial engineering program where you work two days per week already just to get more experience moving forward and more confidence as well in the business world whichever field that may be for you 
Um, we're a small university. Uh, well, in the grand scheme of things, at least, we're roughly 5,000 students in total. Uh, so that's where we also say where students matter because we, we place a lot of focus on our students. So from the very first moment, you have your own study coach and mentor, but also the staff from the international office like myself, uh, even before you come to the university, will help you with everything you need. And even moving forward into your internships and your uh, minor abroad semester exchange at partner universities, we always make sure you have internship coordinators, uh, both in the companies and in the university as well, that are always ready to assist you and just make sure you're, you're enjoying yourself as well as you go on with it, because that's a big part of the process as well. You need to love what you do. And we do our best to, to help on our side as much as possible. And when it comes to pioneering innovation, uh, especially with all of our recent programs, we've just developed global project and change management that keeps in tune for all the latest worldwide trends. Uh, our ICT program, which is a layman term for computer science, effectively, we have professionals from the biggest companies and the best companies in the world. So you can think uh, the ones like uh, PayPal and, uh, and Netflix and such. Uh, you would have as teachers as well. So successful professionals. Um, but yeah, we can move forward, please. So when it comes to the programs themselves, all of our bachelors can be done in three or four years, depending on the student, um, how ambitious you are and how quick you want to uh, get, get it, or you maybe you want to take your time a bit more and enjoy it, then you can have that possibility to do it in four years. So we have chemistry, civil engineering, global projects and change management, industrial engineering and management, information and communication technology, computer science, uh, international business, logistics engineering, tourism management, and water management for the bachelor degrees. Now, please bear in mind, most of these have actual specializations within them. And whenever you do that, at the very least, that bare minimum of one year of work experience, which all of them offer, and some of them offer even more, we always ask you to try and do them on your specializations, just to see, will you truly enjoy doing that? And in most of them, you have two opportunities. So if you study business, for example, and you think, I want to do, ma uh, I want to do marketing, you go to the company and you realize, you know what? marketing is not really what I'd like to follow moving forward. You have that second chance to maybe go into uh, finances or human resource management or whatever it, it might be for you. Um, so yeah, and of course, we also have our master's program in partnership with two other universities here in the Netherlands, our River and Delta Development, where you get to study for six months in three different university, uh, six months each in three different universities, just to be uh, as complete of a professionals as possible moving forward. Um, so yes, next, uh, next slide, please. Right, so we also have two locations. Um, you can see us where that small blue dot in the southwest uh, side of, uh, of Netherlands. Uh, we have Vlissingen and Middleburg. Um, and behind you actually see the Middleburg location. It, it's a brand new building and by brand new, I mean, it's, it's roughly three years old now. So you can expect the latest tech uh, and innovations in it as well. And of course the Vlissingen building is, uh, it's something that serviced us since the late uh, 1980s, I would say, but it also has been renovated. So you can always expect everything uh, to be latest gen possible. Um, so yes, next slide, please, Shen. Excellent. So uh, Vlissingen and Middleburg, right, to tell you a bit about them also. Um, it's roughly 45,000 inhabitants, I would say each, so Middleburg also. Um, in Vlissingen, as you can see in the photo, we also have the beach. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very uh, tourist uh, touristic uh, location as well, so you can expect to have uh, well, a lot of student jobs also uh, during your times as, uh, for your studies. But also having that beach to be able to go and, and make use of and enjoy with your free time. Uh, the modern facilities are there, as I said. We also have everything you can think of, like a HJ Sport, where you can do anything from uh, uh, kite surfing to going to the gym to tennis to uh, 
water polo, etc. cetera. Uh, it's all there. And of course, in Middleburg, like I said, it's the brand new building. And we also have a brand new research center, uh, which we're really aiming to give that, uh, that Google-esque vibe uh, in uh, partnership with UC Roosevelt and Scalda, which are a university college and a, a college uh, here uh, locally. But that's pretty much it uh, for me on my end, I would say. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask in the chat or send us an email. I'll, I'll write our email there as well, and we'll be happy to help you out. But without any further ado, uh, I'll leave it to my colleague from Saxion now. Thank you very much, Tudor. I hope everybody can hear me. So uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Saxion University of Applied Sciences. Um, can you click to the next slide, Shen, please? So um, Saxon, there's a lot to know about Saxon, of course, but we try to keep it uh, short. Uh, one important thing is that we have some kind of slogan motto, however, however you may call it, uh, is get ready for a smart world. That means that uh, even though we have uh, study programs out of every uh, major discipline there is, so we have economic studies, uh, we have uh, social studies, we have technical studies, we try to teach our students at least the impact of technology on every single um, study program there is. For example, even though you study something like physiotherapy, of course, you can make use of digital solutions uh, to help you in your future job. Um, amongst others, we achieved that through our Smart Solutions semester, which is also unique um, in the Netherlands. That means that um, it doesn't matter what you study, that you then um, have to collaborate for half a year with students from other study program on a certain project uh, that you work together with and the idea of it is that you literally look broader than your horizon is means that uh, when you study business that you do some project together with creative media students for example to really have a new idea and mingle the best ideas of the different disciplines um, we have a very personal and, and open and international community uh, because we're in, located in smaller cities um, where there's still a lot to do. We will tell you a little bit later about the student cities, um, but it's not like big Amsterdam, something like where there's literally all the time something happening. So we really have the possibility to really focus on the individual there. And that's something we regularly hear back from students that they really say that um, they really have a close contact with the teachers, with their fellow students. And this is something which definitely helps, especially for international students. Um, like I already said, so we are located in Enschede, uh, Deventer, and Appeldoorn. So we have three different campuses. Depending on uh, the study choice you make, you will study in one of those locations. And um, I personally like the cities very much because I think they are big enough so that you still have some free time activities, but um, also small enough that you have, for example, comparatively cheap um, the cost of living. Uh, that's also like a big advantage to study at Saxon, I would say. Um, and I heard some different rankings that were mentioned before. We don't really have a ranking, uh, but our kind of ranking is basically that 90% of our students find a matching job within three months after their graduation. So that means I know a huge ton of people who studied at Saxon and right now have jobs. And I really don't know a single one who had difficulties finding a job or a master program or something like that after their studies. So that's also what um, studying at the University of Applied Sciences in general is, uh, is good for, but especially at Saxon, you get really good preparation for your professional future. Can you go to the next slide, please, Jan? Yes. So the study programs, uh, like we mentioned, so we have uh, all the different disciplines there are. Um, quite a lot of study programs in general, uh, which are English taught. Um, I would say the most important or the most popular uh, study programs for the international students are definitely creative media and game technologies, which is a nice combination between uh, the technical part, but also a creative part um, and also the IT part. So if you are interested in either one of those um, areas, then that's a nice combination that you don't find um, in other study programs uh, that, that well. Um, also, international human and resource management, um, there's something which draws a lot of international students to us. Um, because I think, I'm not sure if that's still the case, but at least up until recently, it was the only international human resource management program that you could study in the Netherlands. So that's a big 
plus for a lot of students. Uh, tourism management, um, that's maybe important for you guys to know. Um, a lot of people say, why would you study uh, that in times of Corona where tourism is kind of on the low side, but especially right now, it's a good choice because the whole industry will be blooming most probably in four years when you guys would be uh, graduating when you would study that program. So it's still something to consider, especially if you're interested in that study program anyways. Also, physical therapy is something which is very interesting. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity for you guys if you want to study. We also have quite some masters that we offer. I think for you right now, that's not uh, maybe that interesting, but it's still worth mentioning that we also have quite some uh, master programs. Uh, right now, I shared a message in a chat where you can find uh, a closer overview about all the study programs. And also very important, on 1st of October, we have our Digital Discovery Day, where you can get in touch with teachers and students of all those study programs mentioned and uh, find out if uh, you have a match with one of those programs. Can you go to the next slide, please? Yes. So I already talked uh, a bit about the locations. Um, and the nice thing is um, the cities are in the eastern part of the Netherlands. So we are very close to Germany as well. That's for a lot of international students also a nice uh, reason because you kind of get the best of both worlds. You study both in <laughs> the Netherlands and almost in Germany, as you could say. Uh, funny thing, I also I am living in Germany, but I work in the Netherlands because it's so close to each other. Um, and in all those three different cities, um, you have uh, all the campuses that we have are located directly in the city centers, uh, also directly at the central stations. So you don't need to travel throughout the different cities. Uh, you can just go everywhere by bike, and especially if you, you want to visit us uh, to find out if uh, you would like to study at us, it's very easy to find us. We're very close in the city centers. Like I also told you, um, but I think we have the information on the next slide. Shen, could you maybe? Yes, so there we have it. So we have um, definitely not small cities, but rather cozy cities, not like the big capital cities. Uh, and the funny thing is, I even hear from a lot of international students who come from big cities that they actually like it, that it's more like a cozy city where everything is close to each other. First of all, because it's comparatively inexpensive to 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 live in those cities but also is uh, just you have very yeah short routes uh, for everywhere you need to go um and Enschede is our biggest campus for you guys important to know where we also have the most uh, international study program uh, it used to be a big textile industry one of the most important centers within Europe even uh, and this city is located directly at Germany um, but we still have a lot of nationalities living in that city uh, Deventer is a very nice city. It's really beautiful. It's one of the oldest cities in the Netherlands, um, where you have like those medieval looks in the city center, where a lot of uh, international students students really like it because that's something different than they're used to from their home countries in general. Uh, and what is also very nice in general in all those the three different cities, you have a good mixture between yeah the city centers where you can go out for a drink, uh, but you also have uh, nature around the corner everywhere where you can just relax in the park or go to a river, uh, swim in a lake, something like that. So uh, it's definitely interesting for you guys. Appledorn is the uh, smallest campus that we have. Uh, and for international study programs, uh, there's basically only one, and that is um, hotel management. Uh, so basically, that's uh, if you want to study that program, then you would study in Appledorn. Um, yeah, so please go to the next one, Shen. I think yes that's already we're done so yeah thank you very much for listening about the story of Saxon like check the links I shared then you find all the information and also join our digital discovery day on 1st of October thank you very much all right um I'm gonna get back to everyone regarding general information because I already see in the chat someone also asked about the cost the uh, practical matters so we're going to use a little bit of time to go through this matters that you probably um, now concerns. See. Yeah, and yes, really, we need to make it really fast because in eight minutes we are starting another presentation. So we will only have like two minutes for these. Okay? All right, I'll try to fit in uh, the two minutes time schedule. So first Perfect. of all is the cost. Um, tuition fee in the Netherlands, like I already mentioned that the price quality ratio is really high. So it's uh, you don't have to think about uh, the study, uh, the fees like the UK or the US. Um, I have a slide later on about the tuition fees in general. 
but it's comparatively low. Daily student expenses and living costs really depends on your living style, but it's between 800 to 1100 a month. Uh, housing on average is uh, a room cost between 300 to 600 a month. And, and so the living cost is including the housing, just to make it clear here. Um, so food, again, it's much easier if you cook and cheaper if you cook for yourself. But if you go for restaurants for students, uh, a, a small meal can cost you about 10 euro. Transportation, everybody is actually go with a bike in the Netherlands. So uh, here you can also see if you prefer alternative uh, way of traveling, how much is roughly cost you. Um, student discounts, uh, you can have many uh, student discounts at bars, restaurants, sometimes even hairdressers, and of course museums and fitness centers, uh, because uh, many of the cities mentioned here are student cities, so there's a lot of discounts for students uh, as well. Application procedures in general with uh, all the University of Applied Sciences here is you go for a central uh, application um, um, platform, which is called studylink.nl, and you create your own account. Remember the credentials for login because you need to um, get back to the platform um, to follow up with your application. And then you normally can apply to different university and different uh, program up to four. So you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket, but we do hope you can make your final choices um, in the end. And submission, submission of documents, um, uh, basically uh, you will get interactions with individual uh, institutions uh, once you applied um, through their system uh, or through email. And they will also ask for required documents. Normally, it's about diploma, transcript of records. It's also asked for a copy of ID or passport. And additional documents depends on the university or the program that you also need to have um, subject related. Uh, again, depends on the University of Applied Sciences uh, or the program. The deadline can be different, but in general, for EU nationalities, which is relevant for here, it's uh, from May to August. Um, with Avance, for instance, our deadline is uh, 1st of August for EU and nationalities, um, but this can be different from one uni or one program to another. And for non-European students, so you're, if you have a non-EU uh, EEA citizenship, um, normally the deadline of application is between May or 1st of June. Tuition fee, like I promised to get back to you on this, the Europe, uh, European nationalities uh, will normally pay around 2,000 euro. And at this moment, still the Dutch government uh, decided to uh, give this first year 50% discounts to uh, all the students. So basically for the first year, the tuition fee is only 1,000. And for non-European students, it's um, between 8,000 to 11,000. Uh, 11, it depends on the program or the uni. So that's pretty much for the presentation. And I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, if we still have time, feel free to leave your question in the chat. Otherwise, um, you can always check our website or reach out to our email addresses. I think all the other Dutch uh, colleagues are also gonna leave their contact details in the chat for you in case you have any questions afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all the panelists. And thank you to all the students and parents that have joined us. We will send the recording of this uh, webinar tomorrow. Uh, if you have any question, you have the, the emails uh, in the chat. And we have to, to stop now because we are starting another presentation just right now. Thank you very much to everyone. Bye.